Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to layer video in iMovie 11. So there are several different ways to layer video in iMovie 11. So for instance, let's take some sample video here and drag it into the project. And I've got one clip in here. If I want to layer some video over that, I can drag it and drop it anywhere in the middle of this video and I'll be prompted with several different options including be able to replace the video or insert it. But here I'm going to choose one of these layering options here. Let's do the first one, Cutaway. So you can see I've got this one main area of video here and then I've got this Cutaway here and you can see on the right it suddenly changes as I get to that point. So it's basically cutting away to this video. Now I can make several adjustments right off the bat. So I can select it and press I to bring up the inspector and I can see that I, there's a cutaway fade I can set. And I can set it to be 5 seconds or 0.5 seconds rather. And now you can see it will fade rather than cutting directly to it. I can also go in here and set the opacity. So I can basically do a blending effect. So I can do it at about 50% here. And you can see now I have the two blended over each other. Now you can see it's kind of like a ghost image one on top of the other. So another way to layer video is to select a clip portion of a clip here and drag it into place, drop it and select picture in picture. And this will create a boxed area here that I can then drag around and I can also stretch by dragging a corner and place it where I want in there. And I can select options. I can do the cropping option, pressing C and do fit, crop, or can burns, even rotate the video. I can also press I, bring up the inspector, and then I can change uh, the effect to either dissolve, zoom, or swap in. So let's uh, do a zoom effect, for instance, over half a second. I can also change the border, make it a larger width, and give it a color of white here, and even give it a drop shadow. So now as I look here, I can see it zoom in. There's a slight shadow under it. There's the white border. And it will zoom back out there at the end. So in the third option is new in iMovie 11, and that's to do side by side. So you can see here I've got video split right down the middle. And I can select either video. Um, I can select the inset one here, get it, and I can set the side left to right so I can switch and I can also uh, do kind of a manual build in here and you'll see what that looks like. You need slide in from one side like that. So that's another option. It's a little harder to frame if you do a cropping here. It's a little harder. It's basically you have to figure out what the middle portion of this is and that's what's going to be shown there. All of these video layering options can be done with photos as well as video. Now one of the important things to remember for either photos or video is you should be using the same aspect ratio. So if you're making a 4x3 movie then the photos or videos sh that you're inserting should be 4x3. Same if it's 16x9. So for photos it's particularly important because it's not typical to have exactly the same ratio. So you may want to open them in a program like Photoshop or even Preview and resize them crop them to fit exactly the same ratio and bring them in. Also, if you're doing photos, you can have semi-transparent photos, alpha channels for those of you that use Photoshop, and bring those in and those uh, alpha areas will be transparent. So you can basically do all sorts of special effects using photos that you drop in with one of these layering options. So there's a quick look at the three layering options available in iMovie 11. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.